Hello everyone, Groovy Rootmuller here, and welcome to another Cars review. Now before I start the review, I think it would be a good idea to explain why I have ended the review and race. One problem was that the episodes took too long to make. For example, whenever the score would change, I had to create each individual frame separately. There were also problems with the race part itself. While I was sure that cars would on occasion not cross the finish line, it happened a lot more often than I expected. Some cars are not heavy enough, and others may have something sticking out that could snag, and that would reduce their scores massively. Plus, I realized I am not very risky when it comes to causing damage. I know that it might have been a unique way of doing reviews, but it was also an impractical way. One thing I will keep, however, are the highway questions. I am sorry for leaving it out in my last review. But anyway, let's get to this review. Today we will be looking at the Piston Cup Competition 5-pack, which includes Chick Hicks with headset, Paul Conrev, Rusty's Lightning McQueen, Ryan Inside Lanely, and Bobby Swift. And here's the back of the box, showing pictures of each of the five cars that appear in this pack. Now I'm going to open the box and look at each of the cars one by one. This is Chick Hicks with headset. Between the events of Cars and Cars 3, Chick Hicks retired from Pissed Cup Racing and has gotten a new job as a host of his own talk show called Chick Picks with Chick Hicks. And during that time his design has also changed with most of the HTV logos replaced with Chick Hicks logos, and RSN logos as well. He doesn't appear to have any differences from the Chick Hicks with headset that came in the Desert Race 11 pack. This is Bobby Swift, the veteran Octane Game Racer. He replaces Billy Oil Changer as the Octane Gain Racer sometime between the events of Cars and Cars 3, and would eventually become a close friend of Lightning McQueen. However, in Cars 3, he, along with the other veteran racers, would find himself struggling against the next gens, and he would eventually retire or get fired before the race at Los Angeles, and get replaced by a next gen racer named Daniel Sorbez. In a similar situation with Chick Hicks with headset, he does not appear any different from the version that comes in the Desert Race 11 pack. This is Rusty's Lightning McQueen. This is how Lightning McQueen appeared at the beginning of Cars 3. He has a more modern Rusty's logo. When I first saw trailers for Cars 3, I thought that this would be how McQueen would appear earlier in the movie, and that this would be how he would appear later, because it would make sense for a logo to become more modern. However, it turned out to be the other way around. On the other hand, there are probably a couple of situations in which a company would change its logo to a more old-fashioned look. Alright, now I think it would be a good time to ask today's highway question. What is the longest interstate highway? Is it Interstate 10? Interstate 40? Interstate 80? Or Interstate 90? You have 30 seconds to answer. And the correct answer is... Interstate 90. Thank you for playing. And now back to the review. This is Paul Conrad, the next-gen bumper save racer. 
He is one of the next-gen racers who would make their debut at the Florida 500, as the veteran bumper state racer Pudgy Wipeout would not stop racing until after the race at Los Angeles. Now right now I do not have a Cars 3 Punchy Wipeout to compare him to, so, but I can compare him to a Cars 1 Punchy Wipeout. And right away you can notice how much the logo has changed. The number 90 appears to not have changed its font, but now there's no black and white outline. This is Ryan Inside Laney. He's one of the four next-gen racers to be based off of real NASCAR drivers. In this case, being Ryan Blaney, and also the only one whose sponsor did not appear in the first film. In Cars 3, he is one of the first six next-gen racers to debut at Motor City Speedway of the South, replacing Speedy Comet after Jackson Storm's win at Copper Canyon. Now I do not have Speedy Comet to compare him to, so I'm not gonna make a comparison. Thanks for watching my review. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, and also check the links in the description. I will see you next time, and remember to have a groovy day!